Hi, and welcome everybody to another edition of the Winter Circle Sports Betting Podcast. Uh, as always, I'm jo- I'm Ross Benjamin, by the way, if you don't know that already. And as always, I'm joined by Mr. Chip Chirimbus from the aplay.com chipper. It's the yes. NFL season is upon us. It's like we're yeah. kids at Christmas time. Right. Now with the college football into week two and the NFL week one. And boy, oh boy, it's an exciting time of year for us. It is. It's great. And even baseball with the big games are on the line now. The big money's there. I've gone six and two of the top plays the last week. So I'm really feeling confident. Hit the last five NFL games, including a preseason game of the year. And, uh, you know, I'm, Sunday looks great. And Saturday, you know, excited about a full slate here. I have what I call my Fab Five. This is five college football winners. And I got the top three already slated out. So um, I'm excited about it. Uh, NFL on Thursday night, big time game. And uh, we didn't know the outcome yet but I think I have the winner. Well, I do too. So if, if you want the winner, uh, take your choice. I haven't talked to you about what no. side or total you're on. So uh, we may be against each other. I don't know. Anyway, you could find either one of us, rbwins.com and chipwins.com. Uh, right. I'm coming off a four and two week in college football. Like Chipper, I finished the NFL preseason particularly strong going eight and two with my last 10 picks finishing 10 and six for the NFL preseason another winning preseason year chipper finished six and three another winning preseason year for six him. And two. six and two okay yes. I thought you finished six and three six and two uh very good chip that's a hell of a year anyway uh we got two NFL plays free plays for you that is for Sunday September 12th Keep in mind, folks, like I alluded to earlier, it's Wednesday, September 8th. So these lines that we're giving you today are current as we tape and are subject to change depending on when you view the video. Anyway, uh, what better way to start the NFL season than to assign Chipper a New York Giants game? The gentleman who had season tickets back in 1963 with his dad when Y.A. Tittle was a quarterback of the New York Giants and they lost to the Chicago Bears in the frigid conditions at Soldier Field. Chipper, uh, Denver at the Giants. What do you got, my friend? I'll tell you one more thing. In 1958, four years before that, they lost to the Colts in overtime at Yankee Stadium. Nine years old, I was there. And I got the tickets to prove it. By the way, you're making me start here with the Giants. I got odds already the first week. And um, Denver comes in, and they've had a great preseason going undefeated, a perfect preseason for them. And um, Teddy Bridgewater is getting the start, beating out our boy from Missouri. What was his name? Luck? Not Drew, in, Lock. Not Drew Lock. Oh, yeah. Drew Lock. Drew Lock is out of luck. I can tell you that. <laughs> The Giants, who went to 6-10 and 10 last year, were really threatening for the NFC title until, of course, uh, the Eagles laid down and let the – let the they were the Redskins. No, they were the football team at the time, just uh, scalp them anyway. But the Giants come into this game, haven't seen Barkley in two years. Jones does nothing but give up the ball in crucial situations. And I think the Giant offense is very, very shaky. I think the total is one of the lowest in the NFL board this weekend at 42.5. And, and Denver, who always been defensive first until this preseason where they They've had, a, you know, an explosion of offense. And I think that's just because it was preseason. And the Giants hung their hat last year on playing defense. I can see this game going under the total, Ross. I really can. It opened up Denver a small favorite and it raised my eyebrow when I first saw it. And then after the true opening line came out, it's moved up to three. And I'm a little concerned it, it may go higher. And right now, I think I think it's a, a solid play to be the under. The Giants have played under and solid. Uh, they had not won at home, but they played to the under. And uh, I think that's the way it's going to go here. So you like Denver and the Giants under 42 and a half. Well, I, I'm not care. I'm not, I'm not coming with Denver at all. I, I would play the Giants first, but I'd like this game to stay under. Stay under 42 and a half. Uh, and that's Denver and the Giants. And that's a late start. I think 425 p.m. Eastern time. So the bright lights will be on New York, as always. I'm going to take a look at the uh, AFC East game between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. And right now, the New England Patriots are a three-point favorite and a very popular play on the board. Uh, I am going to oppose that, pop, uh, that popular opinion. Um, and uh, I just think Mac Jones is going to be a good quarterback. I can see it right now. And if Bill Belichick gives you the nod in your rookie year and gets rid of a veteran like Cam Newton, uh, I think the, the reasons why he got rid of him uh, go beyond just performance. Uh, having said that, um, I just think it's a tough ask to put a 
rookie in. I, I know he's been used to big games in his life at Alabama in his senior season, uh, leading them to a national title. But, you know, Chip, now you're going to be facing an NFL defense on opening day in your first ever NFL game. And it's, it's a pretty good defense at that in the Miami Dolphins, especially their secondary. It's very good. Um, so I think it's a tough ask for Mac, uh, for Mac Jones. I think he'll get better as the year moves on, but I'm not so sure that he's going to be good in this situation. And then, you know, Chip, I, I like to look at these types of numbers in the opening week of the NFL season because we don't have a lot to work with. So uh, any, since 2019, when you have a game one favorite like New England that right. won seven or less games the year before, and they're right. playing an opponent that won 10 or more games the year before, like Miami. Uh, the underdog has gone 24 and 10 against the spread since 2019 yeah. in that situation. And that includes 23 and 11 straight up. So yeah. there's some um, verification for why I like the pick, uh, as well as the other reasons I use. So, Chipper, I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. Plus and three. I, must, I, I think it's just. I think it's interesting that two Alabama quarterbacks going at the head because two yeah, is in, yeah. two's getting to start here. And, you know, the guy that followed him is getting to start there. I think you're right about why Mac, why Mac Jones is playing and, and uh, Newton's out. I think he had planned to use him all the while, but uh, you got to, you got to follow a certain protocol in, in New yeah, England. Yeah. Protocol. I mean, like I said, I don't have any, I, I can't yeah. fact check what I'm saying, but I reading between the lines, I think that was more of an off the I think it's pretty thing. obvious. Yeah, off the field and on the yeah, field. The, the, the two hard hard nosed old time coaches, yeah. Belichick and um, Meyer and, and Rod Jackson, did the same thing, and yeah. and they had to cover them themselves because uh, maybe they didn't follow proper protocol. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So until the next time, folks, you can find us by the way, chipwins.com for Chip Chirimbus, rbwins.com for myself, Ross Benjamin. We'll have a full slate of games this weekend in college football and the NFL. Great time of year. Um, coming off a winning week in college football for me, both of us coming off a tremendous NFL preseason. We uh, look to carry that into the regular season again. Chipwins.com, RBWins.com. Until the next time, folks, for Chip Chirimbus, I'm Ross Benjamin. We'd like to wish each and every one of you all the very best. Good luck and God bless.